Hello friends, so I am following up on my last video when I was uh, able to set up all materialized CSS framework, the associated JavaScript and I showed you one demo as well. So as uh, promised, I uh, talked about developing a lighting component, lighting app, which would show list of accounts and the related cases on that account. So I'm logged in in my Salesforce org and here are the list of accounts. So I can navigate to one account and right click on it and open on it. So this is an account. Account is, uh, consider account is like a account, okay? <laughs> That's a simple way to define it. So here are two cases. Cases means issues associated with that account. Suppose you have a product, so you create one account for that, and when cases come, issues come for that product, you can log in corresponding to that account. So during the, the development of Lightning application, uh, this is the app that uh, we see here. Here we see the same list of accounts and the associated cases. So uh, suppose I open up uh, Edge Communications. Here we have one, two, three cases. 1000, 1017 and 1018. If I open up Edge Communication, we should be able to see all three cases. So these are the three cases, 1000, 1017 and 18. So this is how Lighting application is developed. Basically we have uh, so many components. Uh, you would be wondering that it's an entire app. Of course it is, but it is broken down into a list of components which I will be explaining shortly while I would be briefing you about uh, how the code is written for this. So let's jump into the code section. Last time I showed you how to develop one uh, custom component, one lighting component and link it with a lighting app and I showed one hello world demo. So this is the same uh, structure over here. We have two components. As uh, last time also we included materialized CSS so based on that we have the same thing here. Now materialized CSS it has uh, some JavaScript dependencies which then depends on the jQuery. The thing about Lightning is you cannot access CDN resources. Means suppose I host my JavaScript and CSS files somewhere and I link it here using link uh, href. That won't work. We have to upload that to Salesforce using static resource upload mechanism. And this is how we link them. This is the entire directory structure, resource, SF1 bootstrap, dist, CSS bootstrap. Basically this materialize is a zip file and as Salesforce 1 bootstrap is also a zip file. Let me show you that quickly. If you go to the static resources, of course we have the two zip files. Now inside this zip file, we have folders, folder structure, one JavaScript folder inside that I have kept materialize.min.js. So now I have explained you how these things are referenced. Next, next I will talk about how to deal with the components. First component is account list, which is here. So this is how it looks like. These are all the list of accounts. And inside that, we have another component, account card, which is over here. So this is uh, the beauty about component-based development. Means you make changes in a component, so automatically that component is uh, basically doing its job. And when you make changes to that, it's reflected in the entire app. So this is applicable to all the accounts, right? And I have just referenced that here. It's going to be five minutes, so I will end the tutorial here and uh, wait for my next tutorial. I will explain it more.